What's up everybody? I'm out here in my backyard. You can see the hives uh, back here behind me. My backyard hives, I got five back here now. Uh, all full strength production hives. And it's been a while since I've been through these hives. I've been neglecting them somewhat because I've been so focused on other places. Um, been moving bees, having bees on pallets, bees on watermelons, uh, production hives in Ozark at the farm, uh, in Slocum, all kinds of stuff growing. Uh, splitting nukes all kinds of about everything you can do with bees I've been trying to do and I haven't done a lot with these bees really in several weeks some of them has probably been a couple of months since I've even really been in them I did harvest honey about a month ago and so that was the last time I cracked some of these open even I think and obviously the size if you remember seeing some of my previous videos the size is reduced down a little bit but I want to go in these hives today I want to see what they're doing um, I've got just a couple hours to do this, and so it's perfect. I can just get this done right here in my backyard and then go on to do what I need to do this evening uh, with the family. So I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, though. I'm looking for subscribers. I'm trying to grow this thing. Next, next big goal is 10,000. That's a lot for me. Uh, I'm just a little over 6,000 now. I'd like to get there by the end of the year, if possible, if not sooner. Also, uh, if you could hit that thumbs up button, uh, if you like what you see, and then uh, hit that bell to get future videos from me, I would appreciate it. It's hot out here. It's, I think last time I checked it was 93 degrees with the heat index of 99. It's not too bad here in the shade, but where the beehives are, they're about there in the sun, it's gonna be pretty hot over there. But we're gonna get started here. Let's quit talking about it. Let's get to it. Let's go check on some bees. Let me kind of show you what we're dealing with today. Uh, these two hives right here have been, have seemed to be pretty strong all summer. We have taken some honey, I think actually off of all these hives back here uh, this summer, but they both seem to be active, healthy, strong. From looking at the uh, entrance activity, that's what I'm thinking. And, and so this one over here was actually the one, the survivor bees uh, that we got. The, the video I did way back early, early in the season with Rusty from Herding Bees with Rusty and Mike. Oh, by the way, if you get a chance, y'all check out his channel. He's a great uh, source for how-to um, videos. He just is a really good teacher, does a great job. He does a lot of removals. He does just a little bit of it all. So if you get a chance to check out Herding Bees with Rusty and Mike, I'd encourage you to go over there. If you want to flip back through my videos and, and look at this, I had two Survivor Bees videos, and this was uh, one of those videos that we did here was this hive. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a fun day hanging out with Rusty. Uh, this hive right here is up in my hive. Uh, haven't really done as many videos of this with this as I thought I would. I've just been so busy doing other stuff. But we're going to break into this joker today and see what we got going on. This one here is one I'm really concerned about. This hive has been fairly strong all year. Um, it was one of my stronger hives. But it's really just the activity has decreased and decreased. I want to get in there and see what's going on. I have no idea what we're going to find. Uh, odds are it may not be good. And this one over here has been good and strong as well. Mainly for this video, we're going to focus on that with my hive and this hive right next to it. And then if I see something interesting in these other hives, I may, we may take a peek in there as well. Here's a quick peek into the first hive I'm going into right here. See all the, quite a few bees in this. This is actually a medium. I think I'm going to remove that top box that's down there. Uh, very few bees in it. There was a frame that had some brood on it. Don't have queen scooter on that hive. Um, but here's what we got. Look at this. Nice brood pattern. I've seen quite a few eggs. Um, I think it's a good healthy hive. Maybe they won't sting me. They haven't been too aggressive yet. I really hope I can get by with those eggs laid in those frames down there. I've seen a lot of bees looking good. I'll just give you a quick peek into this first hive. This is the second hive over. Uh, not super excited about the results in this hive, how it's doing. See the somewhat spotty brood. This is the survivor bees hive. Um, there's a fair amount of brood, but a lot of it's spotty. Now I peeked on some of these frames over here and we do have a, quite a few eggs, uh, quite a few larvae. And then we have a frame like this here. And I'm not even going to go in the bottom box. I'm sure it's kind of more of the same. Could be hygienic queen. Could be she's petering out uh, now. Probably more the hygienic queen. We probably having some mite issues. Got to get those treated here pretty soon. Um, so just want to let you see. I'm, you know, 
full disclosure, that's what we're dealing with. Um, over here, you'll see that was a box of foundation. Very little work done on that. And this is some drum foundation here where we have harvested some honey. And there's just a little bit of nectar, a little bit of honey in here, but that may have been in there when we harvested last time we might have opted to leave it. So I'm, I may just take both of these off or I may put this box of drawn comb back on, give them a little more space. Um, but you can see there's not tons of bees. Uh, they're doing okay, they're, they're surviving, I guess you might say, but they're not, I'm not super impressed. All right, this is the hive on the end. Um, two frames of capped honey in there above the queen excluder. I don't know if you've heard of this stuff before. This is permacomb. The bees are just a little hesitant to work with it, to draw it out. You can see they've got a little honey, their, their nectar they're putting in there. Look at them. Smoked them, they're drinking that honey up. But check them out. I have had some of these permacomb frames. I've had them for a few years now. That the bees have drawn, well, you want them to draw them out just a little bit past the edge. And then all you have to do to harvest it is take a, a putty knife or something and scrape the edge it's very tough and then spin the honey out um, but as you can see the bees are not doing much with this uh, permacomb right now now i'm not sure i don't think we've harvested from this box this year maybe we have um, but i may freeze these two frames down here that are full of honey and uh, either harvest them later or feed them back to the bees later nothing else going on in this box so there's really too much space Probably gonna take this box off, take the queen excluder off, and then just put the lid on that second deep. I took the box off, and as you can see, queen excluder, look at all the bees down in there though. Lots of bees in this hive. I'm guessing there's a fair amount of honey, probably plenty of honey for them to get through the winter or whatever in this box down here. I have not been in this box. I don't know when the last time I came down into this box was. I did some splits on some of these hives early in the year. Look at all those bees. So they're just hanging out. They're, uh, their heads are all in the cells, if you can tell. How well you can tell, but maybe from smoking them, they're trying to drink up some of that honey. So let me pull a frame or two out, see if I see some eggs, and then that's probably about all I'll do here. I decided to go ahead and film a little bit of this, because I think this is gonna set up really nice. Tons of bees in here. This was the first frame I pulled out outside of the frame 100 percent honey inside of the frame we got a honey ring right here a honey rainbow pollen not sure how well you can see it bee bread slash pollen all in there so i'm just going to go three or four frames in there's a stupid hive beetle down there Three or four frames in, I expect to see some honey in here. I expect to see some, I really want to see some brood, a good brood pattern. This is turning into a really nice, strong hive. All right, what I'm seeing here, let me lay it down here so you can see. I'm gonna kind of keep it from smashing bees, but there's a nice rainbow. This is the top of the frame. A nice honey rainbow right here. We do have eggs. We've got some larvae in there. You got some brood right here. But, but there are a lot of bees in there, just packed out with bees. I'll go another frame or two in on this one. I don't want to spend a ton of time in here. Really, once I see eggs and a nice uh, brood pattern of bees. Okay, there we go. Right there, see the... I don't know if you can tell, there's a lot of brood right there. Look at all those beautiful bees. Very calm today too. I'm kind of surprised as hot as it is. So let's try one more and then we'll probably close it up. I think these bees will, I don't know that they really need, if they need some more room, I can always add a box back, but I think they'll be okay. Um, we'll see. Bee bread slash pollen. You got the honey uh, semicircle slash rainbow right there. Same thing over here. Got a lot of food in this hive right now. I'd like to see another frame, nice frame of brood. Let's check it out. Uh, 
Okay, not cat brood much, but there are quite a few eggs and such. Got some nice brood through here. They didn't draw it out very good here, but there's a lot of brood in this hive. I feel confident it's going to continue to be strong. Let me show you this next thing that's got a lot of drone. It's got a lot of drone brood on it. Trying to be as easy as possible. Some drone brood right here. Seems to be a healthy, strong hive. I've seen what I need to see. Let's close it up. I've gotten to the point to where I don't feel like I have to look at every frame in a hive. In reality, once you see, once you see eggs and a good, nice brood pudding, you see what you think you need. You see the food, you see the brood, you see the eggs. You can literally close them up. Lots of bees. I'm guessing the bottom box hopefully also has a lot of brood, but I'm not going to check it. Put this frame back in. A little trick I've learned. I don't know if you can see this or not, but when you put the frame in, you kind of lean it back a little bit and let the bottom kind of press onto the next frame over. It can help create space and gently lower the frame in. See these bees over here? If I would have put it in a lot faster, it probably would have rolled some of them. So if you give them time, if you take your time, it gives those bees a chance. It's so hot out here. The bees, this wax is melting already. I'll put the lid on and we'll call it a day with this hive. This is my weak hive here. And we're worried about, at least I think they're weak. We'll see. Not a lot of bees in this top box. I'm not sure what happened here. This hive was so strong. It's actually one of my stronger hives. Mostly just seeing honey in here, if, if even a lot of that. Probably just gonna condense this down into a single bee from what it looks like. May leave a little honey in here. Oh, there we got some brood, very spotty. Not really seeing any uh, brood, cat brood, larva, etc. Got some more brood here. I wonder if these bees have either swarmed or superseded their queen. Really want to see some eggs. Okay. We got some really small larvae in there. Little baby bees. I think we're gonna be okay. Just think they probably have too much space. I might kind of leave them alone and monitor the situation. Yeah, we got some eggs and such. I don't know how well you can see that. Probably can't see, but there's a little brood here, some eggs, some young larvae. Man, it's hot out here. We got eggs on this side. So I just wonder if this hive superseded their queen or replaced her somehow. I wonder if this is a new little queen laying in here. Not much going on on that frame. Not a strong hive. So you see the difference in this hive and the last one we peeked on. Let me pull this box off, see what we got. This hive, it's just crazy how a hive can be so strong and then just really peter down. Oh, it's kind of heavy. Just not much going on in here about this, but you know, things happen. Lots of bee bread right there, if you can tell. We got neck uh, pollen all in there. Same thing on that side. But all we got down here is pollen. I do believe there is a queen in here though because they seem fairly calm. And uh, I saw some eggs. Not a lot of baby bees being made. Not much of a flow going on. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna pick any frames that aren't pretty frames, that are drawn out weird. Um, Maybe get rid of some frames that have just nothing but pollen on them. Any eggs I see will stay. Any brood I see will stay. 
I'm gonna try and condense them down into one box. I don't see any sense in keeping them in two boxes. They don't have enough bees to defend that right now. And uh, they could even probably go into a nuke, but we won't do that today. But that's kind of what I plan to do. Very, very disappointed right now in this hive. Happens though, sometimes they just, for whatever reason, will get weak and just really decrease their strength on you. And so that's what's happened here. Maybe they'll get strong again and build back up. All right, we've got condensed down to one box. Now we're gonna break into the Apamaya hive uh, to finish up here. Okay, let's break into this thing. I've got a neighbor that's doing some yard work over there. I keep thinking he's gonna be done, but he just keeps going. So I hope you can hear these vid this video. Um, I just had to get this done. And uh, so if the sound quality is not that good, that's why. I hope it's okay. So let's break into here. I don't have a lot of battery left on my camera. So we're just going to be kind of quick. I'm actually quite curious to see how this thing's doing. It's uh, been a strong hive. We did, you know, we made a split in the, earlier in the year and we put those bees in this hive. If you, if you watched the videos back a couple months ago, well, we don't have anything going on really much in this first box, but it was just foundation. I did pull a, a box of honey off of it and we harvested the last time. And uh, they're doing a little bit up in here. Just starting to draw it a little bit. Let me show you. The spacers are nice, but sometimes they kind of get in the way a little bit, I've decided. But they do keep the frames a perfect distance apart. Over here. So here's one that's got a little bit of foundation drawn out. As hot as it is, the bees are probably, there's not really much of a nectar flow. See, it's just drawing this foundation out a little. Um, they're just not working their way up. Not, they're not drawing out wax right now to speak of. I may start feeding them some. Sometimes I get a little extra honey this time of the year, but I think the honey flow, at least here in, my, in this area, in this location is about shut off. So I may start feeding these bees. Okay. Well, I've got to undo the latch. That would help. There we go. Curious to see, I have not been down in here in several, several weeks. We got bees right there. This is, I've got them in a double deep right now. So this is the top deep box, the second box of the hive. Look at that. Nothing but honey. Honey. Oh man, I got nothing but honey in this box, I don't think. A little bit of drone brood right there. No, we got pollen, bees, and honey. Okay, here we go. A little bit of brood. We do, I don't know if you can tell, we do have some larvae in there. And the next frame over is a nice brood frame. Look at that. Okay, the next frame over is as well. I'm not sure why they put all their brood right on the side like that. Um, typically, they'll put it up in the middle, at least in my experience. Listen, I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen a single hive beetle in here. So far, very few beetles actually in these hives today, which kind of surprises me. However, they are mostly in the sun. I think I'm just gonna leave them in a double deep for now. See what happens. Um, I'll probably harvest, I may harvest a few of these frames of honey, just kind of spot harvest some frames. I could use the honey and we don't want them to have too much honey. Once again, if you'll gently slide it in like that and then kind of leverage it back towards yourself, it'll kick it down so the frame will fit in there nicely. Just curious to see real quick, I'm not going to go through this in any great detail. This is the time of the year when beekeeping becomes a little tricky. 
I don't know how it is in other parts of the country. I'm seeing a few hive beetles in here now, but they're pretty well maintained by the bees. Okay, I'm gonna pull this frame right here. I know people get on me for pulling frames out of the middle, but I'm gonna be very gentle. I just wanna see, I see some brood on here, very easy. Pretty spotty. Let's just go through a couple here. I think the hive is plenty healthy. Lots of bee bread pollen, etc. And some brood, there's brood on the next frame over. So this bottom box has a lot of brood in it. The bees are getting a little irritated with me now. I'm surprised I haven't been more irritated today. Kind of spotty, could be mites, could be hygienic behavior, a little bit of both. Or could be, be a queen that's a little bit weak. She's probably backed off a little bit on her laying because it's so hot and there's no flow coming in. All right. I'm just gonna put the second box on top. I'm gonna put the lid on it, close them up and be done. Overall, I think this hive is doing well. Tricky time of year though. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Uh, we got I think every hive we've reduced down a little bit. Uh, hopefully this hive will survive, I don't know. I may actually either add a frame of brood or try to find the queen and replace her. Or ultimately I may put them in a nuke, I haven't decided yet. But there's some there's some uh, eggs and a little bit of brood on most of the frames in there. I'll probably go ahead and feed them too to help stimulate, hopefully stimulate the queen. And that hive is nice and strong. Pull them to their thing for a little while. Um, if they get too crowded, I can always add some more boxes back on. Well, we got that done. And uh, overall, the bees are doing good. Four of the hives out of the five are doing great. And of course you saw the weak one. Not sure if it'll make it or not. Uh, we may try a few things to save it. But uh, I hope the sound quality on this was okay. We got air conditioners going everywhere. And the neighbors had some yard work going on. Uh, but anyway, Kind of fun stuff. It's always enjoyable to go through bees. It is extremely hot today, so I'm glad to be done with that. Need to go through a bunch more tomorrow in other areas. Try to determine if I want to split some more this year. Uh, might be a good idea because I will experience uh, probably some winter loss. I seem to every year. I think it's kind of something that you, you deal with with bees. Um, I feel better about the space these bees have now. They will beard some, but with the high beetle season kicking into full gear right now, I hate for them to have too much space. It's always a trick to try and figure it out. Um, sometimes I'll leave them more space. I've started, I used to leave them a lot of space. My philosophy's changed a little bit. Now I, I try to kind of condense them down and uh, they, are, they are starting to get ready for winter. Population will start to go down um, as the queens uh, quit laying as much and as the uh, worker bees start to die off, the foragers start to die off. And my favorite size of beehive is, is pretty much a double deep. Uh, sometimes I go uh, with nukes, single and double deep, and more, and also with a single deep. I just kind of give them the space I feel like they need. Um, well, that's my backyard bees. Now you know how they're doing, and so do I. I'm curious to see how they, how they end up uh, the rest of this year going into winter. And I hope it will get uh, all of these, at least four of them, uh, through the winter. Uh, this is one of my better production spots for honey. And there's all kinds of good stuff around here during the honey flow. So I like to have a few hives here in my backyard. And um, that's why I keep them here. I could put them all in the outlying areas, but it's kind of fun to have some right here. I also will bring nukes and uh, swarms and things out here to kind of watch them for a while before I move them to the out yard. Well, that's about it for now. I think we'll go ahead and close out this video. Really appreciate you watching uh, Bruce's Bees. I hope you'll subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up button if you like what you see and, and uh, hit that bell for future videos from me. And sign off for now on the next video.